Hey, what's going on? My name is Mike Hobbs, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a, a forwarding email from your domain name. So uh, this is this is important for a few different reasons. Uh, if you're using like GitResponse or Aweber or some kind of autoresponder, they don't like you using free email accounts like uh, Gmail or Yahoo or MSN or what, all those different ones. They want you to have an email that comes from your domain name, something that you own. Uh, and the cool thing about GoDaddy is they give you a hundred free do email forwarding domains. Uh, so, and whatever register you're using, they probably have it as well. Uh, it's just gonna be a little bit different process, but I'm gonna be specific for GoDaddy on how to do this. So this is super simple, by the way. So check this out. So in your GoDaddy account, when you log in, um, you're gonna see all your domains listed at the top. But what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to additional products. So look for the, the tab that says additional products, okay? And then it's gonna show the different uh, domains that you have. What you wanna do is you wanna choose one of the domain names that it says, so if you bought a domain name through GoDaddy, it's gonna say, okay, you get some email forwarding 100 credits, so you're gonna actually redeem that. So I have a 23 free credits, which is, because um, I have 23 different domains in here. So you're just gonna redeem one of these credits, okay? It's a 100 pack. So whatever domain name you purchase, so there's a whole bunch of domains in here that I have, so you're just gonna redeem the 100 pack. Once you've redeemed the 100 pack, okay, um, under additional products, then you're gonna scroll up where under workplace email, and you don't click on any of these, what you do is you click on manage all. So once you've redeemed it, then you click on manage all under workplace email, okay? So once you've done that, it's gonna show all the different uh, ones you have set up. You're obviously not gonna have any right now. So the first thing you do is all you have to do is cr click on create or uh, create forward. That's the one you wanna do, not create. So create a forward domain, okay? And then right here, you just choose the name. So if you wanna create one that's like Mike, uh, I'm just gonna do support because I already have Mike. Support at, then just start typing your domain name in one of your accounts. Um, we'll just do who is, so that's one of my domain names, okay? And then you just choose where you want it to go. So I'm just gonna send it to one of my Gmail accounts, okay? And then free account with forwarding domain, boom. Um, you can make it a catch-all, so if someone mistypes, this is a really cool thing feature. If someone misspells support, or maybe they put something else other than support uh, at your domain, it'll actually go to this email as well. So you can make it a catch-all or just there. So we're just gonna click create. And once you've done that, boom, you're done. Literally, you're done and you now have a forwarding email so anytime someone sends an email to support at uh, whoismycobs.com which is the one i just set up i am going to and, and sometimes it takes a few minutes so if you refresh your page it'll most likely uh, show up here there it is right there so there we go it's done it, it just took a couple minutes and then all it's going to do is anytime now you can go to your get response account your aweber account whatever autoresponder service you're using that you need a forwarding domain uh, what's cool is you put that as your from name and then any emails that are sent to that email go to your gmail account so you don't have to actually log into a new email account you can use your favorite free email account like gmail and just have this as your from name in your autoresponder services which will actually increase your deliverability as well. So you'll increase your deliverability. So if you got a good tip from this, be sure to share this video with people who may have this problem. Uh, make sure that they follow the directions that I just shared with you and then they will be up and running in no time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more marketing tips and uh, check the description box. I have a lot of great resources that you can plug into inside of our description box. Uh, appreciate you and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.